Well, I was still going to school. That old bridge across the keyboard down there was a wooden bridge in those days. And, uh, used to be quite a few kids come across there and walk to school. A fellow named Morris Boone was always a long sort of a young fellow. He's leaning through the through the handrail and having a look in the river or something, and all at once the handrail and broke. And in he went. <laughs> and the bridge was very high off the river. It was a long drop. And luckily for both him and Stuart, it was deep. Stuart ghost of a old leather school bag those days. He chucked that off and went out on the end of the gravel beam and in he went, dived in, fished him out, got a medal for it. But he was he was that sort of a bloke. Yeah. Anyway, as I say, he put his uh, age up, went to the army, got over in France, met a one of the Higginsons that went from to Wonga, he met up with him and they joined up and they were together. And now Henry came home and said didn't Oh, God, he said it was one day in France. He said, I walked away for something, and we were standing there talking. He went away for something, and I heard his bomb drop. When I come back, he said, Sid was just a big hole in the ground. She had dropped right on the poor devil. Yeah, right. That was one fellow that didn't do that. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Do you know any of the other uh, fellas from around here that went? Any of the other ma mountain men? Oh, yeah, Two Hollanders went, they both come back again. And, uh, all different ones, fellas that were working about there. They went to the war.